But I think what we have to do is just cram it into the corner of the map over here. It's such a giant noise radius. Right on the shore of Poop Lake. We're basically using Mr. Fusion to convert poop into power. That's what's going on here. You guys have seen uh, Back to the Future, yeah? Mr. Fusion? No, no, I want... Why are you doing that? Oh, there we go. That was weird. I don't know why I was stuck on being curved until I right-clicked. I, li I like the poop fusion. Some people are saying airport. I mean, you know, I, I want to listen to what people have said, but I think I like the idea that we are powering our city on poop. Metal home. Thanks for subbing. Oh, it's on a brutal slope over here. I can't do it. No! <laughs> Shit. Now we can still... Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. That's, that's pretty legitimately uh, sloped. I mean, I could buy one of these regions, but I don't know where I'm going to want to buy yet. I could tuck it way over here. I mean, I can always move it later if there's a problem. I like these little random structures all over the place that I've got here. I should... This dam is working. I wonder if it's going to keep working. I don't think it's worth it, though. It's too expensive for the power that we get out of it. It's going to dry up the riverbed here. We're not going to be able to get our ships in anymore. We're going to bulldoze this. Check it out. Giant wall of water. Broom. Broom, 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 broom. Tsunami is like the water simulation tries to catch up with the fact that I just did something physically impossible. Oh, it's overflowing the shores. It's overflowing the shores, you guys. I love this water simulation. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh, the bridge! <laughs> Oh, all the cars. I think they're fine, technically. <laughs> oh, that's good stuff. Oh, the ship still technically working over here. Technically for now. It's going to beach itself. All right. Well, we could put the fusion plant near this thing. I mean, it doesn't make any noise. And we'd like to build around this area, probably, so it's kind of unappealing. Maybe we'll just put it down over here. We'll move it later. Is this an on-ramp? Oh, I think it is. I can't actually build there. Just give me somewhere I can build, goddammit. It is all on-ramp. Oh, and... Plus, oh, is that a two-way? That is a two-way there. And then people can't really... Wrong. Achievement unlocked. Short fuse. Let's check your total power production here. Oh, wait. This produces how much? Yeah, I forgot there was an extra zero there. It's not producing the same amount as our entire city. It's producing ten times the amount as everything else in our city. It's expensive as hell to build. I wasn't even looking at the expensive. One million dollars. But the upkeep is only 800 bucks a week. Uh, so I can pretty much go and turn off all my other power supplies right now. Um, I wonder if there's a hotkey for that. I bet you there is. For these on-offs. I mean, I should just destroy them at this point. Actually, yeah. What the hell? We're not going to need any of these. We're going to save so much money. And we're opening up more space to do other things with. Guys, it's only a zero. Everyone knows a zero isn't worth anything, so, you know, misreading that makes no difference. I know I read it right, right, right the first time, but then when I was comparing it to my actual city, I was like, oh no, this doesn't sound so good. Oh, baby, baby. Um, you still need to sort of be connected to the power network in some fashion. 
Here, we'll do some redundancy over there. And I don't think this is needed. No, it's not, but let's make sure and do that for now. We can build in this area. <clears throat> Demand for, um, for work places is going up pretty dramatically. We can actually build quite a few of it on this side, so I'm going to take advantage of that. Many, many offices. Here, we'll do a box selection over there. there all of that. Office me up. Here, too. Let's make sure they've got water. And they do. All right. Pull those power plants and build the fusion power plant in their stead. Well, actually, so it came in a little late. Uh, it's a good point, actually. I could have just built the fusion power plant over here now that everything's been bulldozed. Say, right by the airport. How much does this cost to relocate? Because I think it's 20%. Yeah, it would cost $200,000 to relocate. I'm going to put a pin in that for now. We'll probably want to move it later. Um, <clears throat> yeah. That's pretty expensive. Normally relocating, it's like, ah, it's pretty cheap. But at 20% of the, the cost, it adds up for some of these buildings. How is Poop Lake getting cleaner? I don't understand. How is... What? I... What? How is the light getting cleaner? It makes no sense. Alright, uh, let's... We haven't checked our healthcare in a while. 400 deceased. That's really low. 155 sick. That's really, really good. Okay. What we're going to do is we're going to build one more block. Then we'll still have to call it for today. Is it Project Eden? Educated people, less pollution? I don't know. Educated people still poop. Pretty sure about this. I mean, I'm no poop doctor or anything, but I'm pretty sure that educated people still poop. Alright, so we don't need this anymore. <clears throat> and... What are these structures? These are two power plants, power plant. So we want to get rid of all these. We don't need that. Um, yeah, I'll go get rid of the park too. And oh, building's not empty. Oh, you've been you've been collecting bodies, or oh, landfill. <clears throat> so considering the fact that there's absolutely zero traffic generated by this hadron collider, I think we're gonna build a neighborhood using this street access that we've got going on here, because the cost to us is basically non-existent. What I'm going to do is grab some triple roads from over here. Bridge across and down. And then another one from over here. And it'd be nice to get a straight angle here. Uh, kind of here-ish. I guess I can go down that way. Do it that way. And then connect up there. Okay. Who is that? Renegade Llama! Oh, you gotta watch out for those. They spit, you know. So get these areas connected up over here. And we'll do the same thing here soon enough. Actually, what I can do, I suppose, is one of these. And then build another neighborhood over here. And there we go. That's the right width. A nice guideline. Actually, uh, no, we want double. Maybe on triples, but it's gonna be all right. So 
this one here can just, oops. Go like that. Gonna be a big new region. Now, I'm worried that, like, if they don't have school coverage, I'm not sure, like, are people gonna be upgrading? I guess they don't care. I don't know if the buildings want school coverage specifically. They get the happiness boost. But I don't know if they specifically need school coverage to upgrade. Like, they do need, I need services or something like that. Um, but I think for the education, they just care that their people are educated. Oh no, we missed. I think that's all they care about. Um, I'm actually going to do one of these. Keep this going through here. Because Oh, we need one more one more tile over there. that, and then we'll use this to get on and off this highway. And maybe what I'll do is I'll cut through this way. And there you go. <clears throat> People will still use a lot of the internal structure, but that's alright. Um... Bit of a crooked line there, but that's okay. what I should do here is not have an intersection at every single one because that's going to create those traffic lights. So if I do some of these where I almost but not quite get there, we can still fully zone things but I minimize how many traffic lights get created on the outside which I think will be good for the flow of traffic. Actually, I guess I can just stop sorry, here or even one less Uh, if I do this way, it might encourage them to zone on this street. I can leave this strip here on the outside unzoned. That way there's less stopping and starting right on the road. But this is, it's with six lanes, it's probably less of a problem. Okay, get down our water system. really have to connect that way, but what the hell. Um, I think we're going to miss a little area if I had it where it was. There you go. going to aim for a little bit more overlap. I don't think I can do all this. Oh, I can in one shot. Cool. Okay. That's all right. Uh, so, let's go and make a commercial core. We can even do this. There's a fair bit of demand for commercial right now. And then, I don't know, just alternate a little. It's not exactly... Oh, it looped around there. Right. Offices. Residential. Get some parks down in here. Big hospital in the middle. Crematoriums, we're gonna want one over here, one over here, yeah, maybe one more. Big police station in the middle, or that was fire station, but also a big police station in the middle. And we'll leave off the schools. We're now up to 84% highly educated, and there's no one who is uneducated in my city. 100% of my citizens have graduated something. I'm going to put down a little plaza right here at the corner, just to help the uh, connection go. Are you emptied yet? Yes, good. Don't want a landfill. 
We do need, however, incinerators. Which I can put... What are you occupied by? Park. And we'll relocate you to, I don't know, over here. I'm going to put down a pair of incinerators over here. Can I fit two right on the same block? No. But I can fit one in over here, which I'm going to be okay with. Make sure it's connected to the water. And does it reach with power? It does. And that connects all the way through there without any power cables. I don't know why they're complaining about power. There we go. That should go away. This block will fill up and will be awesome. Universe capacity is 1 million. Yeah, no. All my university, all my education facility capacity is 1 million thanks to the Large Hadron Collider. Apparently. What are you complaining about? Oh, university is turned off. Right. So at some point, I can go and bulldoze all these university sites to free up some space. This thing really allows you to make some pretty crazy stuff. One of the, thing, one of the things that's interesting is even if you use the, the sandbox mode, which starts you off with everything unlocked, it doesn't actually start you off with the, um, the wonders unlocked. Well, I do think it, I think it unlocks all the, um, these unique buildings, though. So I guess once you put them down, then you'll get your wonders. We are definitely not going to be able to do the medical center, which is a real shame, because it would be awesome. But this, we're not going to have the courthouse unlocked. We need a terrible, terrible town before we can unlock the medical center. And considering we even had the zombie apocalypse and it wouldn't have done it, I suppose I could just kill all my police funding. We could, <laughs> we could try that. I mean, if I drop it down... To 50% funding on the police. That would actually reduce its efficiency of my cops by, to 25%. That might be enough to turn this into, like, Escape from New York. It could be. I, I, don't, I don't think that's a good idea. But it is possible. Now, if I take this six-lane highway, or the six-lane road, and just bring it up here, what happens if I just connect it to the highway? Well, there might be a bad place. Well, let me do it. I just want to see what kind of connection it does. It actually... It doesn't create any lights. Is that, like, a perfectly fine way? Ma people making a right-hand turn kind of get screwed. Because they have to slow down quite a bit, which might slow down traffic behind it. If I connect it the other way, then people making a right-hand turn off the highway don't go slow, but instead everyone coming onto the highway get a major slowdown. So I don't think that's a good idea but it was worth, like, kind of glancing at. Instead, what I really want to do is grab people. How do I want to do this? Let's actually use a one-way for a little bit. Yeah, that works. So I actually have to draw it out from over here, which is kind of annoying. Uh, trim it down just a little bit. Actually, I don't even have to use the six lane for this, but, yeah, what the hell. One of those. And then from here we come off this way. We use the cool looking tool. We haven't even used all our, our land yet. Here. Uh, come across. And like that. So this merger should actually be very, very painless. There's a traffic light here, but hopefully it's going to be okay. So that's, that's another way into this area. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to extend, not the highway, the two-way six street over here. Um, how do I want to do this so that I'm happy? that that way and then make a one way that comes out because that is going in in and in so now we want an out and out uh, highway this thing curve tool good Not space efficient. 
They should work. The other thing, the only thing I might want to do here is actually make this one-way six lane a little bit longer so that more cars can sort of pile into here between lights. Oh, hello. I did not see you there. This is not good. Can I upgrade this segment to a one-way six lane? I can. Please do that. As soon as you can, split off into multiple lanes. We can fit more people in here. It's the traffic light thing, but as long as there's, a, you know, maybe more people grouped up there, it'll be okay. <clears throat> I heard the thing, but I don't see the alert. I have to catch it on the stream. Emperor Fabicus Maximus. <laughs> Thank you very much for the sub. Why does everyone want to turn right? Because they want to go over here, isn't it? That's exactly what's going on. Yes. We have a failure to... We're failing to get people off appropriately. Anonymous! Take a look at unique buildings. I know they're not really a point with all the wonders unlocked, but hey, more. Um, I have all the... Everything you see here with the, uh, the, the hammer and, and gear, those are unique buildings that have been built. The only unique building we have not built yet is the courthouse, because we haven't unlocked it, because I don't want a crime rate over 50%. Although we might try it at some point. So what I'm going to do here, so that's the problem, we can actually shrink this down if we don't want it to look all silly, is we just want to pull traffic off of here, and up, and cross like this and into there this doesn't create any traffic lights uh it does here which we might want to eliminate completely but that's it it's all people these all people are trying to get over here so we want to feed them in this way I'm hoping this traffic light doesn't cause there to still be a backup. And there might be. Now, eventually, this traffic will dissipate. All right, that's that's actually moving pretty good. I'm assuming people spread out to a few lanes over here. I think our traffic problem will resolve itself very, very quickly. Already, already it's going pretty well. I have to say, uh, look at all the people in the right lane, though. Everyone wants to make a right turn. I guess we do have more of the city over there. Okay, with that in mind... Let's give the people what they want. Oops. Cross first. Then... Actually go to a one-way highway. Which I don't think will create an intersection when we come in here. Maybe it will. It still will. But that'll, that'll work out okay. <clears throat> So if they're looking to turn right, or at least here might end up being more balanced. Pe more people might be, okay, left and right and different things like that. And then it frees up this to be my connection between my two towns, which as we've seen in the past is a very important thing to do. And now everyone's turning left. Nah, it's pretty even split. They're pretty addicted to that middle lane, though. It could be because they've already started their pathing. Some of the future cars might come in on, on different areas. It is looking a little funny right now. You know what might solve this, actually? Because right now the middle lane can be used for both left and right. If I build, say, a one-way that comes from here and cuts across to you, maybe there. Now, I believe... Uh, no, the middle lane is still getting used for everything, really? That's disappointing. Oh, all right, some people are on the left now. I think they will fix themselves. And I don't think it has anything to do with this connection. I think ultimately they'll revise their path. If I were to switch this to a six lane, I think then it would explicitly break up the lanes more. No, there's still this middle lane where, like, people can go everywhere. Yeah, you see already they're using three different lanes. It's it's the traffic. They'd already figured out their path that they were going to take. 
and they were locked in on that, all future cards, they'll, they'll start to be a little bit more reasonable. We'll just have to give it a moment. There we go. They're effectively using a lot more lanes now. We're going to drain this super fast. This traffic problem will go away really, really, really soon. Please, I hope. I'm sure it will. I think this will fix itself. Quill 18, 2015. I like that quote. I can't believe how many cars want to come in here. <clears throat> Maybe we should make this a, an actual highway off-ramp from the start. I don't know if we've got the room to, to do that. But we do. Alright, let's go, like, actual highway all the way. I don't know if it's really going to help the flow. Although, technically, because the highway is faster than the on-ramp, it might stop this sort of traffic pause as people have to hit the brakes for a second to get onto the on-ramp. Again, most people will still have their old path of, like, I must be in the right lane, but we might mix it up a little bit here. I mean, the turning signals definitely indicate that the middle lane should be able to make a right turn. So we should hopefully start to see some of that. There's still a lot of middle lane inch over here. Holy crap. It is a big neighborhood. Can people not get in over here? They can. But the only people who want to come in at this end are people coming from out of town. Which is not that much. Wow! Who knew this would be such a po uh, popular neighborhood? So there's a couple of different options for this then. Because people can even come in over here. What we may want to do, and we could shrink this down, it doesn't have to be a, a three lane. We could just simply offer people maybe a closer way to get in this town, this end of town, and then over here. And then they'll split them up between two ramps. I mean, this is just legitimately an F10 of traffic. Oh. That's not good. There's a lot of traffic coming off on one area. Now, I think I often feel that a new... So what, there are some people moving in, though. You live way over there, and you're going to go shop over there. Okay, well, I guess metros... I, I'm, I was going to say something about when you put down a new commercial area, it tends to be pretty heavy on delivery trucks, but these are people actually coming to shop. So I guess what we need to make sure to do is get our metro services down. I don't usually prioritize getting getting it down because I want to, while I'm watching the traffic, I want to see, like, the crazy traffic, and I want to be able to optimize, but that we might be at our limit of how much we can just change there if it's actual, you know, people, citizens, not, uh, not cargo goods, that are trying to get in here then the solution is Metro. Most of our traffic jams in the past have not been something we could fix with a Metro. But this one, I guess it will be. Put it that way. This way. As long as they're all connected. Alright, first the internal one. Actually, I think we'll have a pair of them. We'll have one that loops there. And one that loops here. And I don't know if one way is better or worse. We don't know how these systems work yet. And then we'll grab something from like the middle to the middle. And then back. And then again from the middle to, I don't know, right here, I guess. And then back. Now, that won't affect the current traffic because it's already locked there. Disconnect the power cable. Where? 
Oh, well, we've got some stuff here, actually, that's not connected, because nothing has grown there yet. Um, which is bad, because it's not going to break our metro system until it's connected. We can resolve it with, like, a little park or something. We don't really need more parks here. Get those. We're getting upgrades. We're getting crime over here? Crime rate is high. We do have a police station, yeah? Yeah. We might need more. Also, the police cars were probably stuck in traffic. Fun in the. Wow. We could have people come off in one place, but then, what if... Um, uh, let's use some one-ways this way. Still connect there, but I want another one. That connects over here. Another one still that connects here. Will you start to use all three? And is that an improvement? There's no traffic light, which is good. I have to wait for these guys to clear out. And then people to recalculate their paths. So I'm hoping that everyone here that was making a left turn will no longer do that. They'll instead maybe use this. Off. Yeah, and, and that's definitely a possibility. What if we pull an off-ramp right from over here? That, that actually might be the best solution. Because right now we're sort of grabbing traffic from a couple of different places. I mean, I don't think this is the main source of it. But let's give it a try anyway. Anything we can pull off over here. Oh yeah, right away. Holy crap. Surprising number of cars coming from here who want to go over there. All right. Now, it does suck that right here they're going to have to merge away. Uh, they can drive through now. That's true. Okay, no, that's going to make a huge difference. And we might be able to get rid of this silly little thing once the traffic normalizes again. Which it will. So now, basically, this is feeding traffic mostly from here. And this is going to feed traffic mostly from this area. The metro service is also working now, so that'll reduce the amount of passenger stuff. If we go over to our line system over here, and we click on, say, one of these. Car trip saved, 100%. 87%, I guess, of trips in this area? Like, I don't know what that percentage means, but it sounds really, really good. Oh, yeah, already traffic is clearing up. Frankly, it's probably the metro that did it more than anything. This is still apocalyptically long. I might actually want to eliminate that. Well, if I do that, I'm thinking more people will just turn left, and then we'll get a bottleneck here again. You can hear all the bing, bing, bings from the upgrades. So we really don't need, like, any road... We could have stuck this Hadron Collider in a far corner somewhere, and it would have been fine. Alright. We still have infinity power. It's interesting they don't have, like, a water equivalent for that. I'm gonna get a new uh, pumping station um, over here. Just to make sure that we keep up with that. Let's build a couple of those. How's the health system? 400 deceased, that is fine for our city. 200 ill, that is fine for our city. Where's our new area? Oh my god, I'm getting lost. I gotta start using more regions. <laughs> These things are becoming really good right away. We're over 5 million bucks in the bank right now. The residential hasn't really kicked in yet. This traffic is completely fixed. 
So I can really trim down this whole structure at this point. Since I never really wanted to have this going on anyway. So we can use, we can we can free up some more space. We can figure something out um, at some point for bulldozing this. I can actually make an extra block here probably and just have it work that way. In fact, I could probably just extend this road here. I don't see any reason why we couldn't do that. Now that the traffic is not insane. Really? Because, because of the bridge? You won't let me do that? Come on. We can make this work. Come on, game. Work with me. Like that. Delete that bit. See? I knew we could do it. And then we've got some more land to work with. Keep that going, and then I'll go ahead and connect the highway, which is this thing. To that intersection. And I think that will be perfectly fine. We've got a couple of one-ways here to follow into the city itself. We could even upgrade this to like a six-lane one-way. Something like that, if required. But you can see, like, there's not that kind of demand. In fact, if I wanted to make this a little more visually appealing, I could just change this to an on-ramp all the way. Like, there's no there's no functional reason to do it. I don't think the, uh, the three-lane highway is required anymore, and I think the on-ramp might look a little bit better, but, I mean, they are using all the different lanes, and, you know, maybe there would be a bottleneck otherwise. But there we have it. I'm pretty happy with this. What about this route? Nothing stupid going on here. Good. And again, we don't have to have it be an on-ramp that goes all the way here. We could actually build up a block over here and probably have the on-ramp come in a little bit sooner, and that would be okay. Traffic flowing out here is flowing out well. Occasionally, we get a car that comes in over here. Not much. Could happen more if we expand over here. Let's check um, health. Any red spots anywhere? No, the city is awesome. Happiness? Ah, why are you unhappy? None of goods to sell. You have to wait for goods shipments. Well, they're they're gonna come in. Just wait on the highway. I mean, you're forced to import most of your goods at this point. Maybe we still want to build another industrial area to supply goods to these guys. But I think they're. I, I'm thinking some of these shipments probably failed to arrive. They probably were on their way and then they got caught in the traffic jam and despawned. Ooh, this is useful. I don't think I ever saw this grid before. So we could go and. Well, I don't need ta more tax money. So with that in mind, because I've been taxing the commercial quite a bit because of the whole tourism thing, let's just drop that down. Let's keep their happiness a, a little higher. See if that makes a difference. I mean, some of this might actually just be brought down by the fact they don't have their goods. And it probably means I could tax industry a lot more. But I have infinity money right now, so why would I want to do that? So all we have to do is wait till more and more people sort of funnel into the town. Um, I do have a train, like a train line right over here. I think it would be an excellent, excellent idea for us to build a cargo line over here. Now, what kind of annoys me, and I understand why it works this way, but it kind of annoys me that it can't just attach the train line here. It's got to attach to a road. But what I can do is just make sure that my road, which I don't know, let's make it, let's make it a six lane, is close-ish to the track. And then I can just bulldoze the track and then build it in basically the same spot. Yeah, see, if I do this and just bulldoze this area over here, we can even make a passenger one. I'll do the cargo. I'll do a cargo followed by a passenger. So let me actually extend this a little further. I realize it's crooked. Deal with it. Oh, I can't deal with it. Good thing I have so much money to just throw away. Do, 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 do. Alright, now it's going to be level with everything else. So we'll have to bulldoze a little bit more track. I'll give us a little bit more space there. Let me do that. So that's 
one, and that's two. Oh, this one's a lot. Let me move you up over here. And then put our first passenger train, which is going to help for tourists. It's not really going to help, like, transfer people within our own city, just because I don't really have um, multiple passenger train stations. All right, those will work. I could do a little crossing or siding if I want to. Earn hamburger. Thank you very much for subscribing. Oh, iron hamburger maybe. Like I know about iron brew, so let's put iron hamburger together. There, let's do something like this. Now, they'll need power. Um, just for the sake of simplicity, I put a nice big park over here. Doesn't have to be a big park, but a park. And, oh, then I still can't cross the road and do things. Let's put a little plaza right over here. Yay! And, I mean, eventually we won't need these power lines at all. But for now, that'll work out. Obviously, we'll need water. So we'll do one of those, one of those, one of those, and then hit play. So I'm hoping that commercial goods for our commerce get delivered over here. That's my goal. That's my hope. There we go. So we've got some trains using the siding here. If they're not supposed to come in through here, they don't have to slow things down. One of the, the patch changes was also the train collision calculation. We saw a lot of train um, bottlenecks, and I think those are mostly going away. Metro and bus station near the trains, too. Brilliant. Now, we haven't done a bus station in a while. We're mostly just using Metro for all the things. Um, that's the passenger one, so we'll put it right next to it. So I got a subscriber. Hren Frenzy. Thanks for subscribing. I don't know your name. Uh, we only need to connect one, one end. That's fine. And then we'll make a line that goes from here to that, like, center station. And then back over there. Mm-hmm. do All right. If we're going to keep going a little bit longer, I will see if I can hit 200,000. And then I cut, got it, like, cut it. If anything else, Essentia, I know, needs, 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 needs the break. Needs, needs, needs the break? Talk much? It's only my job. Obviously, the amount of tiredness starts to kick in after a little while. And I start to stammer a bit more. Actually, let me start from one of these. So, yeah, so like I said, a short break, which I'm not listening to myself about. In a short break, we're going to zone the rest of this stuff. We're going to look at the demand. We still need more jobs. So what I'll do is I'll do another rope sword commercial in office over here, and then hope the, uh, the residents will come at some point in the future in the middle there. But uh, we'll come back, and maybe we can keep going. It, it does climb quite slowly. So I don't know about the rush to 200,000. These are some of the people that are complaining about their missing goods, too. So see you uh, in a minute. It's a good time for me to save the game as well.